So I'll now run through briefly sort of thinking about setting up different types of design. So a very simple design uh, might be described as a one-factor design. So that would be a design where you've got different groups that you want to compare statistically. So here we've just got two different groups of mice and we want to see what the effect of a treatment, this chlorum treatment compared to controls is on red blood cell count. We want to allocate some mice to the treatment and some mice to be controls. So that's our objective. Fairly clear cut here that the sampling unit is, is going to be mice, so I don't think there's other options. We want different mice, we don't want to take the observations within one mouse and um, we'll assume that there's not going to be a big effect of cages and perhaps we can do the whole experiment in, in one cage. We might think about ways we could reduce the variability in the study, so perhaps think about checking that white mice before we go into the study have got a specific specified weight range. And we might even measure red, red blood cell count before treatment and check that they don't have particularly high or low values. We don't want to sort of end up with a situation of bias, so um, rather than allocating maybe the first set of mice to one treatment and then the second set to another, it, it would be a good idea to randomise the mice to the treatments. And doing a similar thing to what we did before, so we, we've got the two treatments, we've got several mice and we want to allocate them randomly. Yeah, this is just, as I had in the last example in Excel, you can use this rand function to generate random numbers and sort by that random number to get a random list of um, treatments, so that's what's been done there. So we've got them allocated to the treatments for different mice and we would just think also about what sort of statistical test. So here it would be something like a t-test or a Wilcoxon rank sum test to analyse the data. We're fairly certain in this situation there are tests available to do the analysis and of course we'd have had to have considered how many mice to use, um, which we'll, get, we'll look at a bit later. A one-factor design doesn't need to just have two groups, it could have three or more groups, so it could be that there's another treatment as well, and then we would just include that in the randomisation, randomise to the three treatments. So that was a one-factor design. A two-factor design is a common design as well, and that allows us to, if we want to, to compare two things at once and it also allows us to make comparisons of an intervention in more than one group within the same study. So it might be in that last study where we were looking at red blood cell, cell count and we, we were looking at red blood cell counts and we've got different strains of mice and we might want to see is, is it affected by you know the different strains. So is this C3H strain, CD1 strain so we then have effectively four groups of animals, you know, some that are of this strain are given one intervention and then control animals of that strain are not uh, given the intervention and the same for the other strain. And another thing we can do with that study, sometimes people do these studies because they want to test the interaction. <coughs> so that is not only to ask is the event intervention going to make a difference for both the strains, but is it different between the strains? Is there an interaction effect in the intervention between the different um, strains of mice? So it's, it can be quite a useful study, to, it was a sort of powerful <coughs> study design. In this example, we can both see if chlorum affects red blood cell count, we can see if red blood cell count differs between the strains of mice, and then we can see if it affects red blood cell counts in each strain of mice individually. And we can also see if that effect differs between the two strains of mice. So it's quite a few questions we can ask you know, in this one two-factor design. Just the same as before, I think experimental unit's going to be the mice. We could include, have inclusion and exclusion criteria. And again, we want to randomise, um, but this time we need to randomise within the um, strains. We've got two strains of mice, we would need to randomise within each of these, so do it separately just as before, you can have this random number and sort 
by that. So this is a simple way it can be done in Excel, but if you're using statistical packages, you quite often find there's a, a random function that will do the randomization for you as well. So it's by no means the only way to do it, but if you only have Excel, then it's helpful to know it can. There's no reason why it can't be done simply in Excel. Four mice for each of the four groups are out randomly allocated. So that's the two-level design. And for statistical analysis, there's conveniently a two-way ANOVA, or you can use a general linear model to analyze this data. So there are methods available, and the ANOVA can be used to test the interaction between the strain effect and the um, treatment effect as well. And, and then you might want to do the pairwise comparisons within the strains, and you've got t-tests or the non-parametric equivalents that can do that. That was, we, we saw the one-factor design, two-factor design. You can actually have designs with even more factors. So this is a three-factor design where we might consider looking at the effects of diet as well in the mice. And sometimes it's appropriate to do this, but um, it, it is becoming quite a complicated design and it becomes more difficult to interpret. So uh, I think... I would think carefully before including three different factors to study at once. It might be preferable to carry out separate experiments unless the kind of three-way interaction between diet, treatment and strain was particularly important. You may not want to sort of go as far as doing a design that's quite this complicated, but nevertheless it's available if you think it is appropriate.